Thanks so much for being here today on this uh, really beautiful sunny day. Maybe could have been a little warmer, but we have to have a little winter, right? Um, so I'm so glad that you're here. And again, I want to welcome you on behalf of the Board of Trustees and our director, Romero Salazar. I know he very much wanted to be here, but he's in California today on a trip that he already had planned. So that's the reason you get me instead. So I just get to be lucky. That's the way I'm going to look at it. So I'm Dale McNeil. I'm one of two assistant directors here at the library. And I'm very glad to be here today to welcome you and to welcome Mayor Ron Nuremberg and his family to join us to um, give some remarks to talk about the mayor's uh, book club. In addition, I'd like to thank all of the staff, many of them are here, who've been working hard for a few months to make this program come together. When we first heard the idea, we sort of took a deep breath and thought, um, is that going to be possible? But then we thought, it'll not be only be possible, it'll be fun. So, and I think you'll see that that's um, going to be the result, that it will be fun and something really interesting and engaging, um, really for the whole of this, of this year. And in addition to the remarks today, I mean, some of you probably came just for that, but there's also going to be activities that you can do after this um, um, press event or this uh, program. I'd also like to thank the San Antonio Public Library Foundation who provided some of the funding um, for the, um, this unique book club. At this moment, I'd like to recognize uh, Jean Brady from the Board of Trustees. <laughs> Thank you, Jean, for being here. And Assistant City Manager, Lori Houston, who came, took time from her very busy schedule to join us. Thank you so much. Today, we're going to share details about Our Family Reads, the Mayor's Book Club, a community-wide reading campaign. Our Family Reads, the Mayor's Book Club, encourages families in the community to read along with the mayor, his family, and members of the city council and their families on some of their favorite topics and to cultivate a community experience through reading and discussion. This unique book club, we really don't know of another book club like this anywhere. Probably there is one, because there's no new idea, but we don't know of another one. Um, we'll focus on a different topic each month, a topic chosen in this first month by the mayor, and then in each succeeding month by a member of the city council. Readers like yourselves are encouraged to check out books. We have books available here, and books on displays, and books at all of our branches, and electronic books. You're encouraged to check out books for any member of your family. We have books chosen from picture books for the very youngest to books for adults as well on each topic. Some fiction, some just for fun, some pretty serious nonfiction books. This month, uh, Mayor Nuremberg is kicking off our Family Reads program. The topic he has chosen is unity. And at this moment, I'd like to introduce our board chair, Mr. Paul Stahl, and invite him to make a few remarks. Thank you. Thank you, Dale. <clears throat> I'm honored to be here this morning, uh, this afternoon, to represent the, uh, the Library Board of Trustees. And uh, Jean, thank you for joining us as well. Mayor Nuremberg, thank you so much for your leadership and, uh, and for involving your family in this beautiful initiative. Um, this is a, a, a real favorite of mine uh, every year when we can really rally the city around um, you know, really focusing on the library and books, and specifically, um, specifically this this type of a program that can include the entire city. Um, um, and the fact that you uh, chose unity this year uh, as the first topic, <clears throat> I thought I thought was great. Um, it allows us to reflect on inclusiveness. It allows us to reflect on so many of the um, important characteristics that make uh, our city our city wonderful. Um, you can get more information about this Mayor's Book Club events and all the things that are happening on our, on our website, on the uh, mysapl.org website. So I'd like to thank everyone for joining us today. This is a great event. It's wonderful to see so many children here. Um, uh, hopefully everyone's going to get an opportunity uh, to share what they're doing with their friends, with their families, if the families do it together with their children. Um, my son and daughter are both now in college, 
and uh, they're both avid readers and my son who's the most avid of the two as a reader always remembers the early days when I'd read to him from the Arabian Nights or read to him from um, uh, from Tom Sawyer so those are special moments and that 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 Mayor you take the time out of your schedule to elevate and participate in a program like this I think is just very very special and I, I certainly appreciate it and uh, Erica as well thank you so much for your participation so without further delay I'd like to welcome Mayor Ron Nuremberg to the podium tell us more about the program and why he chose the topic of unity good afternoon thank you all for coming out today um, and Paul thank you for the introduction Dale uh, we'll take you any day, Tail. You guys do a great job here. And I want to recognize all of the library staff. This is truly one of the remarkable gems of our city, the Central Library here. So I can't think of a better place to start off uh, our family reads. If you know anything about um, what links my son Jonah and Erica, uh, there's lots of things. Um, but one thing in particular I get to notice every single day is that her nightstand and my son's nightstand are piled about this high with books that they're reading. Uh, our family loves to read. It's something that we enjoy doing together. And so I'm really pleased that we're able to kick this off, particularly during Dream Week. And uh, that's also an appropriate reason why we wanted to start with the, with the theme of unity. That's what Dream Week is all about. And really, that's the kind of vision that we have for this city, to be a compassionate place where we all work together. And unity, again, by its definition is us working together for the common good. I want to thank the San Antonio Public Library who will be curating selections for all families throughout the year as each of the themes goes on and I also want to recognize our council colleagues who have participated in helping us select some really important topics. Topics like social justice, animal welfare, sustainability, military and so many more that will bring people together and that's ultimately what the vision of Our Family Reads is. It's, an, it's creating opportunities for families to read together. So today we get to kick it off, and don't forget it's, it's about opportunities to be together. So there's a lot of programs and activities that are happening upstairs and that will happen throughout the year in all of the branch libraries as well. So now it gives me great honor to introduce my family to you. This is, uh, when I mentioned this to Erica, her mind just went, just, uh, and it was amazing to watch uh, the imagination from Jonah and Erica really take off and ultimately land with the work of Sarah from our staff, Sarah McLornan, uh, to what you're, you're seeing today. So without further ado, um, my two loves of life, Jonah and Erica. Thank you, everybody. I do want to start off by thanking the library staff. This is an amazing thing, and it is unique in many ways because I think as a city, we want to believe, and we are spread out. The truth of the matter is, you know, we are 10 districts and spread out, and so this is a beautiful way to thread what each person cares about, even if they are spread out, what your representatives think is important. And I think the library staff does such an amazing job of coordinating and working with Sarah McLornan and ma making sure that what we have here is the start of unity. That is why we kick it off with unity, because to really ensure unity, you have to know a little bit about each other, right? You can't just automatically say, hi, nice to meet you, we're united. We've got to start to learn about what makes us tick, and this wonderful new program, the Our Family Reads, what it's going to allow for our entire city to do is get to know each other. It starts by understanding what each of your council members cares about or thinks is interesting. It gives you a little insight into them, right? And then it starts with you taking your family to the library and with all the array of books that they have with different ages and even Spanish titles, allows for you as a family then to figure out what unites you, at least this month. But believe it or not, even though unity is the theme for January, we're hoping that what it does is throughout the year allows all of us to stay united as a city and understand what makes us tick. And Ron is, is correct in saying that one of the most precious things that you can do is teach your child to read, teach your sister, your nephew, your niece, your grandmother, whomever in your life seeks knowledge, because knowledge isn't just about knowing things. It is about, quite frankly, understanding another person's point of view. 
And that is, at the essence, the start of what unites us, is compassion and understanding. And more than anything else, what I think is wonderful about what the city is about to embark in doing and what we're hoping all of your families do is, reading is something that does not take any money. Maybe some to get to a library, but even then we can walk if we have to. It is one of the most accessible forms of activity. And quite frankly, for those parents that feel like, what, what do I have to give to my child? I'm not highly educated. I didn't go to college. Reading, you can give them reading. If not because you teach it to them, then you can give it a love of reading. And you can ensure that that, that seed that you plant becomes a love of learning. And a love of learning opens your child up to a love of understanding. And a love of understanding snowballs into, well, into unity. And so I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank the entire city for believing in each other and throughout this year really embracing all the different topics. They're varied. I see uh, Council Michelle, I see Michelle Shaw here. And I know that she put a lot of passion and thought into the topic that you'll see next month as well. And so she's a great example of, of, of a council district that really thought through and said what matters to us so that our council district understands what's important in my heart and I want to share that. And that's the start. So thank you for being here as well. Now to end it, I do want to give it over to Jonah because quite frankly as he's gotten older we've learned we have to give him the mic. Uh, <laughs> But I think it also will help him explain to you why this is such an important thing for our family. Would you like to say something to all the kids here? Yes. Okay. Go ahead, all the way down. Oh. So you should read because it, okay. <laughs> Oops. Okay, never mind. You should read because it gives you imagination. And imagination, well, you have to use it a lot in your life. Um, how can I get down from here? Okay. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you so much. Obviously, I can't top that. So, <laughs> I just want to have a couple of uh, small other things to say. One is I want to recognize a couple people who joined us during the program. One, of course, um, the former Secretary of Housing and Urban Development and Mayor, Julian Castro, is here. And also from the Library Board of Trustees, Judy Cruz is here as well and with her family. Thank you so much for joining us. Then I'll just also mention really quickly that we do have some really fun activities planned for children, teens, and adults all on the third floor. So you can uh, walk around and take the escalator, take the elevator, and I'll also just mention a couple things you can do from the Chihuly here to all the art on the first floor. There's just a lot of things you can walk around and experience, including in the gallery we have going on this month our Holocaust Learn and Remember program, and the exhibit in the gallery is the heart of that, of looking at the experience of the Holocaust through art, and I think that that might be something you'd find in interesting as well. So. Take advantage of being here at the library today, and again, we're so glad that you're here. Thank you so much.